Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to be discussing area and specifically how to find or calculate area of rectangles. And the area is the measure of space inside of a shape. And that's up top for you to reference there. And in blue up top, we have area equals length times width. That's the formula we're going to use to calculate area. So as you can see, there are four problems on your screen that we're going to go through in order to learn more about finding area of rectangles. So let's jump right in to number one. So for number one, we have a four by five inch rectangle. So the first thing we need to do in our calculating area problem here, we write out our formula. So area equals length times width. Next, we need to plug in our length and width. I'm going to use the four inches for the length and the five inches for the width. Now, if you flip those and you use five for the length and four for the width, that's fine. You'll get the same answer either way. So after we plug in, we solve in order to calculate the area. So four times five gives us 20. Now look back at the original problem to see which unit of measure we used, and it was inches. So we have 20 inches, and we put a little two up here for area, and that tells us that the rectangle has an area of 20 square inches. And I did something so we can kind of visualize what those 20 square inches look like that cover or fill that rectangle. So we have four inches going across, so I put four squares going across. And we have five inches going down, so one, two, three, four, five. Now where all those lines intersect and create those squares, we have a four by five rectangle and there are 20 squares that fill or cover that rectangle. Now, it's much easier and quicker to just do four times five and follow our formula than fill a rectangle with all those squares. But this kind of shows us what those 20 square inches look like that fill that rectangle. Let's take a look at number two. So we write out our formula first. Area equals length times width. Next, we plug in. Now, this is a little different than number one because we have all sides, the measurements listed. Do not just multiply everything for an area problem. You have to pick out the correct length and width. If you just multiply everything, you're not going to get the correct answer. I'm going to use 15 feet for the length times four feet for the width. 15 times four equals 60 square feet. And that's going to be our answer for uh, the area to number two. So let's take a look at number three. Write out our formula first, area equals length times width. Plug in, I'm going to use 25 for the length times 10 for the width solve to find our area 25 times 10 equals 250 and that is square centimeters so area equals 250 square centimeters so for number four we have a word problem where we're going to need to calculate area so a rectangular living room has a width of 10 yards and a length of eight yards what is the area of the living room. So first step, we need to write out the formula, area equals length times width. Then we need to plug in uh, length of eight yards times width of 10, and then solve. So eight times 10, the area equals 80, and then this is square yards. So area equals 80 square yards. Again, area equals length times width, and it's the measure of space inside a shape. 
Now this video, we did specifically rectangles. Now, hopefully this helped. It's your turn to try some on your own over at the mastery check. I dropped that link down in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.